lounge. Ain't no stopping us when it comes to being comfortable, whether it's in our own home or we have a busy day and we want to be in comfy lounge clothes. So let me show you our next item from our in-house brand, Zuda. They're really the answer to athleisure. If you've ever gotten those expensive catalogs in the mail and you're like, oh, I like that gal's jogger. I like that gal's legging. I like her tank top. But then you go to the bottom of the page where the price code system is and you're like, uh, $80? No thank you, and then you just recycle the magazine. Well, this, if it was in a magazine, does not go in the recycle bin. It goes in that little cubby, that little caddy where you keep your magazines for referencing because we can afford Zuda. They give you those big looks, but for a fraction of the price. And these tonight, well, they hit a new clearance price. Never before has this jogger been under 40 dollars. I'm going to run you through color colors now that we have a 20 dollar discount and a $13 easy pay, but then we must circle back because this is filled with rayon, filled with cotton and spandex. It's not your I could sleep in those joggers because they're light. They're the I could work out in the jogger because they're nice and beefy. I can go shopping in the jogger because they're not see-through and pajama-y. So here's your first color, French navy and just stay with me because in a few minutes we're going to do some fun like t-shirts from another brand but like this is like lounge looks all at a clearance price yes sundays are for snuggling right if you're me sundays are for the grocery store and then snuggling when you get home <laughs> i always go to the grocery store on sunday morning um this is burnt olive and we have certainly shopped for olive tonight right the 23 dollars t-shirt that i'm wearing done in a moss green the Kulabara, it has sold out since we um, started talking about it in green but there's all different shades of green this one really does remind me of an olive if you don't eat them my husband steve does not either but i love them in a martini <laughs> stuffed with blue cheese on an italian like cheese board i like the salty green olive and that's what this color is that true olive color and then this, this is mocha. So let's reference coffee. This is extra cream, <laughs> but not so creamy where like nobody even knows that you're drinking coffee because you put that much half and half in it or that much milk in it. This is just like a nice, normal, creamy cup of coffee. All right, I promised you I would go back to fabric and that's what we're gonna do. Rayon, expensive to use, but the payoff is wonderful because it means soft. So this is 57% rayon, 38% cotton, 5% spandex. The spandex gives you the stretch. The cotton is always one of our favorite fabrics, but the rayon will make it softer. And again, without taking fabric away, we have a lot of joggers here at the Q, so I reference that because there are some brands that they're light and you like them for that and you can just really kind of hang out in the house, but you wouldn't necessarily take an athletic class in them or do something athleisure. This is a really substantial fabric. You've got real cargo pockets here on the side. No snap, no button. Easy if you just wanna like flip them open and really put something in the pocket. Personally, I never put anything in my cargo pockets. They're always just there for extra added style and detail. But if you wanna put something in them, go ahead. And then the bottom, the bottom has more of a banded cuff versus like um, elastic. So again, just a cleaner look. Um, you could certainly wear these with your sneakers. If you're holding on to flip flops and sandals, I know I am. I'm, I, I will turn to like my kind of faux fur lined Birkenstocks now and my, you know, faux fur lined Earth and Earth Origins. And I'll wear those for the next few weeks until I absolutely have to do um, the boot. But I love that if you look at these on our model, you get the whole idea of like, really athleisure friendly. Our t-shirts, our sweatshirts, our $36 pullover from Kulabura, and you put it on with those joggers, and a great staple. I mean, as you do your chores and your errands, if you're working from home, put like a really cute t-shirt on and wear this particular jogger. It doesn't look pajama-y at all. A day of traveling, I mean, maybe now that the weather has cooled off and you can do more things without feeling, whoo, so warm and hot. Maybe you finally do a, a little day trip that you've been wanting to do. But it's a casual day trip, you know, nothing fancy, nothing formal. Wear these the whole time that you're in that car for the hour or two or more. Now here's the olive, and I, you know, have another great brand coming up, so I'm just showing you like your t-shirts, your tan, it all works with that olive option. A nice creamy white sneaker, and you're done. 
Here's the mocha, so that's going to be your brown, without being too dark and too chocolatey and too espresso. More of that like nutmeg and cinnamon. My new favorite snack, well, I won't say favorite, but guiltless snack. Um, my favorite snack, well, that would be a pizza slice, even though that's a meal. <laughs> but my new favorite snack is cottage cheese and fruit, like strawberries or raspberries or blueberries. That's what we have usually in our house but with cinnamon sprinkled on top of it, and then like you really kind of mash it and mush it all together. It's so good, I love cinnamon. Not always in the summer, but I do love cinnamon in fall and in winter. And then here's your navy, French navy, is what we are titling this one. I guess I should share the inseam. Would y'all like that? That probably would be helpful, huh? 29 and a half inches. Now remember, with a jogger like this, you could zhuzh, the technical term, for just pushing it up a little bit. Maybe you left the house, like perfect example this morning. I did suggest to my children um, to put like a long sleeve shirt on over their t-shirts. Clay listened, Bree did not, and I didn't fight. It's fine, if she's cold, she's cold, right? But I did suggest like the layering at the bus stop and then told them, yes, it's gonna warm up, but not until later, it's not summer anymore. And then they could peel their layers off. Well, maybe you put your jogger on, again, just recommending we don't have to argue you don't have to if you don't want to and then later on if it gets warm where you are judge that jogger up all right stay on the phone lines they're under 40 when they used to be 60 we like a good $20 savings navy mocha and olive all right we've got more Kulabora in the show 